In this video, I'm going to show you how to create unlimited Facebook accounts without getting banned or disabled. So if you want to have multiple accounts on Facebook or you want to manage multiple accounts, let me show you the best way this can be done. So if you try to switch your account on Facebook on your mobile device and create a new account, you're going to be facing a lot of restrictions and issues and they might even ban the account that you create. So if you are looking for the best way to manage multiple accounts without the account getting banned or without facing any restriction, let me show you the best method. So you can also use this app or this software to manage multiple accounts like Instagram, like multiple Google accounts or different apps or different websites. So the first thing is head over to the description down below and click on the link in the description. So you are going to see the website right here. You can also read about the software on this web page. I'm going to put a link in the description, which you can use to manage multiple accounts on any website. As you can see, you can use it for multiple TikTok accounts, LinkedIn, or any app. So now, right here on this web page, click on download at the top right here. Once you click on download, you can download it on your Windows PC or your Mac PC or Linux PC. So I'm using Mac, so I'm just going to download this. So I've already downloaded it, so let me cancel it. And I've installed it, so it is very easy to install. Just double click on it. So now, once you download and install it, open the app on your Windows PC or your Mac. Once you open it, wait for it to load, and you need to create account. So once you open the app, you're going to see the option to create account. So just create account and you're going to see something like this. So I have an account already. That's why so I don't know why it is taking time to load. So let me just, as you can see, it is now showing. So once you create account, you're going to see something like this. So just click on new profile at the top left corner. Once you click on new profile, Wait for it to load and you need to enter the profile name. So I'm going to use Facebook account one. So now right here at the right hand side, you're going to see the details of your browser. So let me explain how this works. It's going to create multiple profiles or multiple browsers for each account. So it's going to be as if you are using different device for each account. So if you create a new profile right now, it's going to be as if you are using a different device or a different phone. As you can see, once you enter the name, you can pick any browser of your choice. So I would advise you leave the browser as default because it is the best browser you can use. All right here, so you are going to the operating system. So it can use Windows 11 PC. So it can be as if you are using a Windows PC. It can be MacBook. It can be Linux. It can be Android. Or it can be iPhone. Just pick any one of your choice. After that, you are going to see the group. So just leave all this like this. The next thing is proxy. So we also we also advise you to leave the proxy as default. But if you have a proxy that you want to use, you can just click on this no proxy and select any of these. So if it is HTTPS, just select it and enter the proxy details. There are different websites which you can buy proxy. Or you can just make use of the app proxy because it is very safe so i'm going to leave it like this but before you create the profile make sure you test the proxy so click on check the network and now as you can see it is working so scroll down and you're going to see the platform so as you can see for facebook you can select any of this platform where it is not compulsory so now scroll down you're going to see the fingerprint so if you don't have anything about this just leave everything as the default i won't advise you to make any changes right there but if you know about it you can also adjust the settings and once you are done click on ok at the bottom right here once you click on ok your profile will now be created as you can see this is the profile so to use the profile click on open in front of it it's going to take a few seconds to load and now you're going to open the profile and you can now create account on the profile 
So it's going to open your browser profile. As you can see, it has now opened the profile. So you're going to see the details of the profile right here. So if you scroll down, you're going to see all the details of the profile. This is the zip code, the OS operating system. You're going to see everything. So you can now create a new page or a new tab and create account right here. So let's say you want to create Facebook account. So just head over to facebook.com and you can now create new account right here. So any account that you create right here will not be linked to the account that you have on your PC before. It will not be linked at all. The IP address will be separate and everything will be separate. So let me go over to the app back. So we can now create another profile. So if we create another profile, you can still open the profile and you're going to have two profiles right now. As you can see, it's still opening another browser. So that means you can still create another account on this browser. As you can see right there. So just create a new tab and create another account. So any account that you create on this profile will not be linked to the account on the first profile. So that's how it works. You can also create account on any other website. It can be Instagram, it can be LinkedIn or any other website. Just make sure you are using different profiles for each account and you are not going to face any restriction and your account will not get banned or disabled. Very easy and straightforward. So right here on this app, you are going to see different things right here also. So let me explain some of them to you. Right here, you are going to see group. So let's say you have some profiles for Facebook, so you can just group them right here. And you have, if you have other profiles for Instagram, you can also group them. Very easy, just click on new group and group your profiles. Right here, you are going to see proxies. So if you want to use IP address for another country, you can just add the proxy right here. So click on add proxy and next time you are creating a new profile, you are going to see the proxy and you can also select it. And if you delete any profile, you are going to see it in your trash. So just select them. You can also delete it permanently. You can recover it and you can do other things. Very easy and straightforward. And now if you want to access all the features on this app, you need to subscribe to the premium. So right here you are going to see billing and at the bottom also you are going to see upgrade to premium you are going to get more features and you are going to see different things that you can also use so you can upgrade from this page and if you want to access the app settings just click on settings and you can go to the global settings right here or just click on your name at the top right corner and you can access the settings from this page you can also refer your friends and get a bonus if you found this video helpful, smash the like button and subscribe.